What's up, everyone? I am back, as always, with the latest glitch updates in GTA 5 Online. So, if y'all stay close to the channel, y'all will get notified of the latest glitches. As this is an update video showing you that the car to car merge still does work. Now, this method could get patched any moment, don't really sure, so don't count always working thing. Usually Rockstar does patch stuff on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay, so stay close to the channel and also my social media page. If it does get patched, I will keep y'all updated. Yeah. But this glitch is very simple and very easy but I'm gonna teach y'all a few tricks to get this thing working so you just want to be in a invite only session it's gonna be better that way so you don't have to worry about people in public lobbies coming after you and grief you you, know, you will need a friend inside a different target mode and you will need someone inside of your session now a lot of people have been commenting on my videos of the merge that they are not getting this option right here when they walk up to the ticket booth window oh of the spectator box i'm going to show y'all an easy way to fix that if you're not getting this right on the pad option i'm going to show you why you just open up your interactions menu and go down to map blimp options and you just want to go into a series mode and Go ahead and set everything to show, but the main one you really want set to show is going to be your arena war. But you might as well just set them all to show, which is going to put the very top option onto custom. So just a little trick, a little method for you. It's always good if you have the card that you're going to pull the mods out off of on the map. So this is going to be my donor right here with the mods on it. And the card that you want to put the mods onto, you're going to need to own it stock or mod it. Now keep in mind if the card is modded, if you don't want to lose those mods, move those mods to a different card or give it to a friend to the GC2F. Or if you are new gen, expand it and enhance, then you just want to have a friend to buy it off you at the LS car meet so you can buy it back. Or just buy that car a version of it stock but however you do want to own that car and know where it's at at all times so you can be ready to call it out when you need to well, now we are going to do the version with the yacht i seen a lot of people posting on my channel that the version without the yacht they have a little complications with it but it is still an easy method still a good method if you do not have the Galaxy Super Yacht, so I will leave a link to that video down in the description. So I'm going to be registered as a CEO, and I am already. So now you just want to bounce off of someone inside a different targeting mode. So you're going to go to someone's profile on your friends list that is showing online. So if you're in a free aim, you need to bounce off of someone in assistant aim. If you are in assistant aim, you'll need to bounce off of someone in free aim. So we're going to accept, decline the second alert. So accept the first, decline the second. And then you want to make your own way over to the ticket booths, which is the spectator box. And you want to press right on that D-pad. Now you will need a friend inside your session that's going to need to be in Titan or job to invite you to it so I'm just going to join the invite now that I'm on the alert they can back off of Titan once they back off then I can teach y'all the next step I'm just waiting for them to exit out of Titan And now, since the out, you just want to double tap your A button two times real quickly. Press for three pumps. And you press A on the third one. As it's fading away. Make sure you press an A on the third one as it's fading away. Now, if you're on PlayStation doing that, 
you're gonna press X instead of A. And then from there, you are going to want to spawn outside with no mini map like I did. And if you did, you're just gonna have your friend invite you to the LS car meet. Once you get inside the LS car meet, you're going to want to request your personal vehicle that you had out on the map and then have your friend or you can start up a sprint and then join their sprint race and now you just chill like a villain and wait for the sprint to start we don't have to call our mechanic because we are doing the yacht version so we're just gonna chill like a villain yeah. y'all did find this glitch very successful so far I'll go ahead and smash that like button subscribe to my channel turn on those post notifications and also share the video on all your social media platforms to get the glitch out there to everyone that is interesting on how to mod their own personal vehicles <coughs> Once the sprint starts, you just want to make your way over to the LS Customs, and once you're outside of the Yelp LS Customs, you do want to retire from your CEO and then re-register from your C into your CEO and call out a buzzard, and then drive into the LS Customs. Now, if you don't go into LS Customs pretty quick, you will lose that uh, opportunity of the door opening on you. So we're gonna go in the interactions menu, retire, re-register, and then we are going to go back in the interaction menu for a third time and we're gonna call out the buzzard and we are going to drive in to the LS Customs. What miracle did you want me to perform? Once we're inside the LS Customs, we're going to press B one time. And we're going to hold Y to respawn. So try and go on a PlayStation if you are trying to respawn. And now we're going to be on a solid black screen. We just want to bounce off of somewhere inside a different targeting mode for the final time. So we're going to accept the first alert to climb the second. You will get an alert about a failed job. For the third alert, you're going to press A on that. From there, you want to make your way outside to your buzzard and you want to get in it and fly off. Now, this part here it is all about timing. <clears throat> if you are not quick enough to get to the buzzard, you will respawn back in the vehicle and you will have to glitch out all over again at the arena more because you will have to quit the sprint race so you don't have too much time to mess around you just want to make your way to the buzzer very quickly get in it and fly away now you will be respawning or shall i say slingshotting back and once you do you are good to go to fly to your galaxy super yacht and you just want to call up your yacht captain in the process of flying to your yacht and you want to hover over your request personal vehicle so I'm just going to head on over to the yacht and I'm going to hover over request personal vehicle and now this is where you're going to want to know where that car is at, which garage, uh, the name of it, it, so you know you're calling out the right car. Now if you accidentally mess up you call it the wrong car, just stay hovering over your yacht, return the car to storage through the interactions menu, and call back the yacht captain. And once the delay is over with calling out a personal vehicle, you can call out another vehicle as long as the sprint is still going. So if you do mess up by calling out the wrong vehicle on first try, you can, just as long as you stay hovering over the yacht, you can request another Look, vehicle out. That's not gonna be possible. But you will have can to be at a certain altitude over the yacht 
So if you're too high, you will not be able we can't to get do it. At this time. What can we do for you? And now you just want to call out that personal vehicle. I'll get that sorted right away. And once Should it spawns on in shore? on the map, you just want to hold Y on Xbox or play on try and go on PlayStation and respawn. So my car did spawn out onto the map, so I'm just gonna hold Y one time and respawn. And we did spawn in with the mods on the car. From there, you just want to start up any job on the map. You or a friend, whoever has their jobs turned on, I'm going to start one up, and that's going to end the sprint race. Or you do have a few other options as far as to do it. You can have your friend leave the session and then join back. Or you can complete the sprint race. That is up to you. Now, to save the vehicle... We do have a couple of methods on how to save it. If you call out your MOC and drive it into the back of your mobile operation center, as long as you've got personal vehicle storage and bay 3, you can simply save it. Or you can take it into the LS car meet and take it into the mod shop and change one thing on it to save it. Or you can take it into the LS customs and change something on it to save it. However, if you take it back to a garage, it will go back to stock or go back to the old mods that were on it prior you to modding it. So just keep that in mind. And also, please go ahead and smash that like button if y'all did find this very easy and successful. And stay close to my channel for updates on the cars, the latest glitches, and information of all things Grand Theft Auto 5. And I hope y'all have a great, wonderful day, and night, and week. And I will chat with y'all later in the next video or on, on my social media. So, peace out, and I'm gone.